go. Welcome to the BBC app. Yeah. Your vision is going to look a little bit different than mine. I've got the actual trainer view, but this is a general overview of what you'll see when you sign in. So um, as you can see, this is your dashboard. You've got the pretty much a summary of everything that's going on at the moment. So um, from the top to the bottom, we've got things to do today. Um, so we've got walking, your Wednesday workout, your warm up, clock in your weight that you had for the day. And um, just for example, I just added an extra habit goal of detoxing uh, from your phone before bedtime. So you can always just go into the actual item and just mark complete if you completed it. You thumbs up. Uh, you started a new streak. Well done. <laughs> um, same with uh, workouts. So let's just say if we go on to um, where the scale where you've weighed in for the day and you've typed in um, your number, you can always change this as well. And this gives you a bit of a rundown as to how you've been tracking and progressing in terms of weight on the scale. I've backdated quite a few dates. And as you can see, this is probably going to reflect something that will be similar to you. If you are looking to lose weight, you might have days where you go up and then you'll have streaks where you go down. But overall, we're just looking at that trend week on week. It's trending downwards for weight loss. Nice. If we go backwards. Um, so I'm just going to go around the, the bottom of the uh, of the screen. So as you can see, once you do sync up your MyFitnessPal app, we'll actually be able to um, track your calories as well um, and how much you've eaten in terms of fat, proteins, carbs, daily calorie intake. Um, here on the photos... This is where you will take and upload your before and after pics and progress pics throughout the uh, challenge. So this is a really basic example, add photos, gives you a really basic set of instructions. Uh, essentially, just don't wear loose clothing, have a, a plain wall that you can essentially replicate your, po uh, your photos to be taken in. Natural light, lots of natural light coming in, so it doesn't have to just be artificial bathroom light, if you can, and we'll do those three poses. So. Uh, what we do di different is we just add those. Um, I'll get your step back just a little bit further and we'll just add your knees into this photo as well, not just the um, thigh upwards. So um, so essentially the shins upward. Um, skip this. Here, what we do differently in our poses is we just raise our arms. So as you can see, her elbows in this example photo, they're just covering that back. And we want to see um, any progress that you're seeing in terms of weight loss or weight gain uh, around your waist. So I'll just get you to hold your arms up forward uh, instead of this. And again, showing those knees. And here it's up to yourself whether you want to do like the champion um, bicep <laughs> pose as well. Uh, but again, just uh, taking the photo a little bit further back and showing the bottom of those uh, knees slash your calves, just so we get a, a full body overview. And there you have it. You'll have your photos uploaded here. Let's go back. Calorie intake, body fat percentage. Yes, yeah, so all this will be added once you be adding your MyFitnessPal app. And that's where we really want to track your um, daily expenditure, as well as if you do have a, like a, a Fitbit or... Uh, tracking device for steps usually i just man and manually add them so we've got walking was one of the options and we can actually calculate how many calories you've burnt there if we go over to the page so this is your calendar so the bottom left corner of the screen you actually got an option to view your calendar uh, and this is your upcoming so this is wednesday thursday we've got xyz thursday we've got the active rest so uh, walking and optional core Friday, we've got Friday workout and your warm-up. Saturday, we've got the um, uh, active rest as well. And Sunday, active rest. And Monday, you've got your warm-up. So what you can do as well, so what I'll do here is let's just go into a Wednesday workout. Here is when you'll actually track and start your workouts. So uh, as you can see, all the exercises here are already laid out for you, certain reps, certain sets. Uh, what we do here, we essentially just go to start now, the big bottom button, start now, 
everything's laid out for you. So I've already got three sets here ready to go for you. Three sets of 12 to 16 reps. This will probably change once um, we're working more one-on-one. -on -one. I start refining and putting exercises in and out of the program based on what works for you. But what you essentially do is you go, okay, how many reps did I do? I did 13. And uh, this was a hip abduction, so there was no weight. Uh, zero kg. And what you can do, I've got rest for 30 seconds. If you click start on that right-hand side of the rest, and if you look, uh, it'll actually start resting for you. So if you look at the top of the phone screen, it's actually counting down from 30 seconds. Really important that we track our rest time as well during this exercise. It just takes all the guesswork out of it for you. Um, we won't wait 30 seconds. Let's just pretend you've completed that. Um, go all the way down. Let's do, uh, we did 14 for zero. And continue, continue. I've got donkey kicks. What you can do here as well. Now, if you, let's just click the actual exercise, donkey kicks. It'll give you a bit of an exercise breakdown. So you can see here, you can watch full video, which is in the top right hand corner. And that's going to give you a video breakdown from me Traditional of the actual kick. exercise. Now, I actually love this exercise. It is a great glute maximus isolation with a little bit of core. This exercise. Just skip ahead. Tighten, an instructional machine. video on how to complete the um, exercise. Cool. Um, I've also got here written down exercise variations if it's too hard, if it's too easy. And okay, let's go backwards. And what you can do, let's just say you don't have access to donkey kicks. For some reason, you just don't have those, those stable cores, um, like the, the, the cords, the actual resistance bands. Um, I'll probably get you to do step ups. So what you can do here, if you can click those, that three button on the right hand side, and customize this day only. You can click substitute. And this gives you an automatic breakdown of all these various options that you could substitute for that exercise if you can't do it on the day. But what we usually do, step ups for donkey kicks. Okay, body weight step up. And now you can watch this and substitute that into your exercise. So let's do substitute. And now that is added into your program instead. Um, nice. And then hit me up in a, in a message just saying, I did this X, Y, Z. Um, scroll all the way down until you complete the actual workout. And press save. How difficult was the workout? Um, somewhat hard. It's probably not gonna be beyond hard or extremely hard, it's gonna be hard because we're going for those personal best workout exercises let's go hard really hard and you can tap a comment and i'll read um how the exercise went so um felt great hammies in my step ups uh, you can go into greater detail as well here uh, done keep it up Sweet, and that'll change over time. What you can do as well, so let's just say for some reason you're busy on Wednesday. What you can do, you can hold this down and move it to Thursday. And now you can complete your Wednesday workout on a Thursday, just keep me in the loop, and uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, nice, if we go on to the bottom uh, weight, icon in the bottom of the app you just see a little breakdown of what's coming up for the week uh, we've got personal goals that we've added or you've added onto the program so jane here's gunning for uh, seven kilo weight loss from where she's at at the moment and uh, she's on track towards that if we go down this is where you'll see uh, the meal plan that i've uploaded for you the pdf um, here, I don't have the actual PDF for Jane here. Jane's just a, an example client, so I've just uploaded a random PDF off my phone. Um, but here, you'll have access to it. So view PDF, and that'll just pop up on your phone. And this this is, I believe, my uh, view of you. Um, but what you'll see here, it'll be you'll be able to edit your profile. So add a picture, change the picture, um, add a bit more details, and you can always um, shoot me a message 
one on one through the app directly. Here we go. I've gone. Just pretend that's Jane messaging me. Hi, how's it going? Didn't get much sleep last night due to XYZ. What would you suggest? And then I'll come back with the suggestion. Beautiful. So this is the uh, the BBC app. There's a little bit more to it, but I just can't show you in the actual um, trainer's point of view. This is the, the trainer's viewpoint. But yeah, this is an amazing, amazing looking um, app. And if we see here, I'll probably already message you instructions on how to sync your my fitness power onto the app as well so step one step two step three just follow these and uh, i'll be able to see and track uh, the foods you're eating awesome really excited let's go into the uh, video again